Hey friends, happy Tuesday. Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday. It is so nice out. But it's still, still kind of sweaty weather. So that's why I've got a sweater on. So the decks I'm going to use today, I'm really enjoying pulling these cards. But I still want to remind from yesterday, be real, the cards of the week, and trust the timing. So be real and trust the timing are still the cards of the week. Um, we're just going to pull some cards to see if there's a special message for today. So the decks I'm using are the Numerology, the original deck. Oh no, not the original, the Manifestation deck. Which is this one. And the Starseed Oracle deck. Which is one of my favorites. So let's see. What message do we need to know today? Reflect on your priorities is what came out of the Moonology Manifestation deck. Reflect on your priorities. That's that's already in line with kind of what I was doing this morning. Yeah. And I was thinking last night, like a lot of times we can totally, I can't believe that little, that little piece of uh, sage is still burning. Um, a lot of times we can kind of psych ourselves out and the things that we're psyching ourselves out about would literally take five minutes or less to do. And then it's off our plate. Why is it that it's so easy for us to see those tasks and they're simple, simple little tasks. And it's like, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. But it's that it's always on your mind, always on your mind. So for me, when I, as soon as I see reflect on your priorities, anything you could do, especially, so for me, I'm a very visual person. And so clutter, which I'm getting better at dealing with, clutter is very overwhelming. So anything that I can do to literally clear clutter or clear my workspace, kitchen, which that's on my list for tonight. Um, anything that I can do to kind of, oh, nothing's jumping out. So that will be you. Water your garden. Oh, these are good. These are so good. So, so good. Water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. Oh, these are good cards. All right. So last quarter moon in Aquarius. Last quarter moon in... Here we go. May 26. Let's get a bit more insight. So this is the reflect on your priorities. Okay. Drawing this card suggests it's time to be more grounded and work out what really matters to you. Once you're clear about your priorities, you can start to allot time, energy, and focus to them. If you want to create something solid, it takes a mix of good ideas and practical work. The most important thing to work out now is what's really important to you and whether you're living your life in accordance with that. If not, this card is a nudge to make changes so you can achieve what you want next. That is really, yeah, this is totally in alignment with what I was thinking last night. Once you know your priorities, it becomes possible for you to work out where your focus, where to focus your attention in terms of your life and your manifesting. So it's not just about focusing on what you want to manifest to bring into your life. What you want to focus on is what's already in your life and the things that are possibly on your to-do list. What can you clear off of that that has maybe been stressing you out? Like I said, it gets in your mind and it's like that. Is it a brain worm? Is that what it's called when the, a song gets in your head? I think it's something like that. Whatever you can do um, 
to clear some of that. So literally, if something's going to take you only five minutes, even 10 minutes, even half an hour, get it done. Get it the fuck done. Get it off your list. Yeah, that feels good. So you're manifesting affirmation. I don't need anything, but some things I want. Justified, right? Very justified. All right, so then water your garden, which is, oh, it's such a good, oh, good, good, good. 120. Okay. Earth is a seasonal planet, and as such, you're a seasonal being. Cyclic. You can't be on and in full bloom month after month, day after day. You're strongly being called to put on the brakes, rest and refuel, to take a moment to restock and replenish and slow right on down. Example. So last night I had a call and it was a breathwork um, workshop that we did. It was incredible. It was so good and so needed. I feel myself breathing deeper today. I just, I really enjoyed it. So when I finished, so it was about an hour and a half. So we were finished at, I think, 6.30. And I was taking a few minutes to sit with my husband on the deck. And I was looking at the flowers that they got me for Mother's Day. And I was thinking, I, I said to him, I don't wanna go in the house and do the dishes. I wanna grab my camera and take pictures of these flowers. So he looked at me and he said, then take pictures of the flowers. And it was in that moment that it was like, no one else is putting these responsibilities necessarily on me. Like, yes, as the mother, as parents, we take responsibility for the household, obviously. That's the parent's job. But there's no one saying, you're a bad mom, you're a bad dad, you're a bad parent. If your kitchen isn't spotless the entire time. So I said, fuck responsibilities last night. Fuck it. We didn't have a big appetite. We had a big dinner on Sunday. We really, both of us, did not have a huge appetite whatsoever. So we went with it. We went basic for dinner. We put that aside. I grabbed my camera. I went out to the deck. And if you hop on over to my Flickr site, which I should put the link in below, um, you'll see some of the macro shots that I took. And I just, my heart felt totally, totally filled up. And not only that, so then I took those pictures came in, downloaded them, processed them. I do minimal editing, but I do like to, I like to clean them up because I love color. I love the contrast, but I don't like it to look not real. Right. Um, so I did that. I got a couple things off my list that I have had in my planner for days that I was going to do on the weekend, but on the weekend I was like, fuck it. Mother's Day weekend. I'm not, I'm doing as little as possible. It was good. It was just so good. It was just kind of a recalibration. And I really do feel like the breathwork session really helped me accomplish that. So, okay. So your body is the only body you're given and it needs to be respected as such. You're being called to take responsibility for your well-being, to put your health and body first. I know it can feel like time is running out and if there are urgent things that, and that and as if there are urgent things that simply can't wait. However, if you keep pushing on, soon fatigue will set in. The only way of living isn't sustainable. This way of living isn't sustainable. If anyone continues to race through life, eventually they will reach exhaustion and it will take longer, excuse me, to recover than it would have done to rest. Immune system disorders and mystery illnesses are becoming more common because we're putting too much pressure on our bodies to keep up with the instantaneous pace of modern life. If you're drawn to watch this video, enjoy it and then turn off your phone. <coughs> Excuse me. I 
it is windy today and it is blowing a lot of stuff around outside. So anyway, um, how are you being called to put on the brakes? To rest, restore? <coughs> Excuse me. And rejuvenate. When was the last time you took a holiday? Or had a full weekend day or afternoon off? Look at your precious body and mind. Give yourself enough time to recover. And you find yourself ready. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, running on your reserves. There is enough time. Life will bend towards you when you do. So, journal prompt for you. What is your body yearning for? What a great message today. Have a great Tuesday.